right, we're heading out. Alright, so we're heading to our first stop, about an hour and 20 minutes from the terminal. Uh, we got one pallet here, and then we're going to run to the next town. It'll be about another 15 or 20 minutes down the road. And at that town, we're going to have four or five stops. They're all, again, they're all about one to two pallets each. Yeah, we got rid of the first stop. That was pretty quick. That was about six or seven minutes. The last stop was about five minutes. Now we're heading up here to a new building. We got to drop off some supplies for them. That should be a quick one pallet, maybe a five minute delivery. Uh, that was a fast one, but sometimes you go to a spot, they got one or two docks, they're full. So they say, hey, can you move it to the back of the trailer? Well, we're uh, the local p and you pretty much have to keep a pallet jack in the trailer. So we keep a pallet jack in there. So I just say, hey, yeah, I can move it to the back of the trailer. Just pull a forklift outside. We'll get it done. And that's what we did. We got it done in, you know, four minutes flat. So sometimes it works like that. All right, we finished the last stop. That was a quick one one pallet of a hardware unload is about a thousand pound pallet of fasteners and bolts and stuff and now we're heading about 20 minutes out to a little bitty town up by nebraska we're going to head up there okay so we just left the last delivery uh, one problem with some of the stuff that you move. As far as materials, I had a, about 900 pounds of brass in a pallet. Uh, problem was, it wasn't actually a pallet, it was a crate. And I encounter this pretty often when it comes to raw materials being shipped. Sometimes they'll put them in crates, and the crate is so low, pile, low profile that you cannot fit a pallet jack underneath it. And so you gotta get creative, and uh, that's just another example of how the, the local LTL can be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so we left the last delivery, the last little town. We got about a 35 minute drive out here to the next town that we're at. And we got four deliveries here in town. They're all within about two miles apart, so not too bad. So you can see I got three more pallets of this wood product, and then I got some pallets of paint as well. I just wheel it to the end of the trailer, use a little pallet jack, take it back there, and then they'll come up with a forklift and pull it off of there. I do this at probably most of my stops on my particular route. And pick up this engine core, and then my head out, outside town in a little factory. Do us another pickup. And we got a few pickups here. Load up some of these, whatever it is. Well, that's it for today. Another day in the books. Heading back to the terminal. We'll see ya.